Barakate hawa, barakate hawa shai, barakate hawa, barakate hawa shai. Kal halalam la, ye hawa bahashem yawa shai, bahashem raka kodash. Dablana to the apostles and the elders of Grimmel Stone. Salutations to the Akim pushing his word in sincerity, in truth. Peace and blessings are upon the elect of the nation of Israel, the men, women, and children who have been called and foreordained to be the remnant to return unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai through the mercy that is afforded through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. Only the vaccinated will be saved. <laughs> Question mark. This was posted, posted in RT on April 10, 2021, the year of the hastening of the coming of our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? And Unless you're living under a rock, right, you've seen in the news that a volcano has erupted on the on the Caribbean island of Saint Vincent, right, and you know most of the population has had to be evacuated via um, cruise ships, you know, and to also to neighboring um, islands. Now this is a a story that was posted based on you know what the um the Saint Vincent Prime Minister has said. Only vaccinated will be saved. Question mark. Confusion of the St. Vincent Prime Minister said only those with COVID jab can flee the volcano on cruise ships. And the reason I'm bringing this out is because it's a foreshadowing of what's to come. You know, ultimately, the situation will develop to a point where you will not be able to survive or you will not be able to continue living in the society unless you conform. Right, it may it may be just be the vaccine now, but ultimately it will be the RFID microchip, and that's the angle I wanted to take, you know, in this lesson. Let's read on. As the volcanic eruption cast a, a pall of ash over the Caribbean island of Saint Vincent, tens of thousands fled, but eyebrows were raised after the island's nation's prime minister said that they weren't going anywhere without a COVID shot. The last of Volcano on the eastern Caribbean island of St. Vincent erupted on Friday, sending a column ash of 10 kilometers into the air or into the sky. With some 16,000 people living in the red zone near the volcano, the authorities had been scrambling to put together evacuation plans in the hours leading up to the blast. <clears throat> For viewers following the evacuation efforts through television news reports, one detail of the plan may have stood out. Cruise ships are evacuating people from the island. CBS's news, CBS News's Nora O'Donnell announced on Friday, adding that only those vaccinated against COVID would be allowed to leave. Right? And then it goes on to say, the, the clip has raised... Uh, let me see if I can, I can play it. Maybe I can play it. ...on the Caribbean island of St. Vincent. After the first volcanic eruption there in more than 40 years, the volcano sent a thick cloud of smoke 20,000 feet into the sky, spewing ash for miles. Cruise ships are evacuating people from the island, but only those vaccinated against COVID. On the Car and there we go. All right, only those vaccinated against COVID. The clip which has since raised some eyebrows online turned out to be factually correct. St. Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez did, ha did announce in a press conference that evacuees would need to receive a COVID shot before boarding any of the two Royal Caribbean cruise ships and the two Carnival Cruise Lines vessels that arrived on Friday. Furthermore, Gonzalez said that the neighboring islands of St. Lucia, Grenada, Barbados and Antigua would accept evacuees, but only if they had been vaccinated. Right? However, despite Gonzalez's announcement, neither Royal Caribbean nor the Carnival Cruise Line have mentioned anything about keeping unvac unvaccinated passengers off their ships. Royal Caribbean did say that all precautions would be taken to protect the health and safety of the crew and passengers who board our ships, but did not elaborate further. Further complicating matters in the, is the fact that St. Vincent received this first shipment of vaccines only two days before the eruption. Like I said, this is a foreshadowing, you This is a foreshadowing of what's to come, right? of you being forced to go along, you know, with government legislation or not be able to perform your daily lives. It's as pretty much as simple as that. Revelation 13, all right, and I'll go to the hot trip scripture, and he caused it all, both small and great, to receive a, a rich and poor, to receive a mark in their right hand and in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, right? And, and today, 
No, it's you won't be able to evacuate unless you get that COVID shot. We're also hearing talks about you won't be able to travel without that COVID shot, right? So, you know, the, the, these things are just um, forerunners, dry runs, you know, for um, for what's to come, yo. And, and, and we who have eyes to, ear, eyes to see, ears to ear, I've been seeing these things, hearing these things, and I've been reporting them, you know, to the people. And, you know, ultimately you'll see the, the word of the Lord coming to pass, yo. Right? Ultimately you'll see that. This is our Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the face of the earth. The hour of temptation, you know, for example, for the three Hebrew boys who refused to bow and worship the idol that was um, commanded by the king of Babylon, or Daniel's hour of temptation when he refused to do the same. Or Yahushai's hour of temptation. We will all go through our hour of temptation or the hour of temptation, right? Where we have to choose Yahweh, Shemi, or Shai and ult or, or ultimately dying. Kal halalam la Yahweh, Shemi, or Shai, Bashem, or Kakodash. Give me the spirit to this lesson. This is how I want you guys, you know, men, men and, and women of the elect to, to, to think about this. You know, today is vaccine. Or no evacuation. Tomorrow it could very, very well be the chip, or you can't, you know, buy or sell. Shalom.